In this part, I'm gonna try to squeeze in stage 2 and stage 3 of the Sigma Castle. Welcome to part 7 of the Mega Man X Let's Play commentary, whatever it is anymore. I don't remember. Okay. Just testing the Hadouken. They really remodeled this stage in the remake because this isn't there and I hate that bat. He always seems to respawn. Him and his buddy over there. Dash jump over here. Ah! Oh, it did it again. I'm pretty sure I fixed the video compression here. Mm -hmm. ah. Watch out! Oh! Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Hadoken! Whoa! Ah! Oh my god, what the heck? And that is how you can instant kill bosses. That's how strong the Hadoken is, so if you want this game breaker, get it to break the rest of the game, go ahead and find that capsule and do what I did in the special Hadoken part. No. Okay, I'm gonna off screen this loser because I don't want him getting in the right armor. There we go. Ugh. I think in later games, the right armors have like HP gauges or something like that, if I remember. Oh, I hate these things. I think I screw up around here. And then one to- oh crap, here we go. Get up there. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, if I remember, I screwed up right there. Okay, careful here. You're gonna be outside for a while. Oh, it's Storm Eagle. <laughs> no meme intended. Uh, it's hard to Hadoken him and Sting Chameleon, I think. No, I think Sting Chameleon was the worst. Because he hangs up there too much. Why didn't that? Oh my gosh! Stop! Uh oh. Okay, see- AH! Ugh! Ah! Okay, I'm gonna probably voice in the... voice clips for this game. <laughs> I'm not doing the PSP add-on or anything. That's something they should have added on the PSP version, like play classic mode, play the original, and look at the difference. That would have been a nice bonus. No! You don't want a Hadouken like that! That's me failing! Or I'm too attached to the Hadouken at that point. Skip back. And I said, ah, uh, forget it. Feel the sting! Oh, fun fact, if you're too close at ra up close in range when he does a uh, storm tornado, it actually does do damage. Oh, that's right. I turned invisible, and then I'm letting him have it. One more. Uh, I don't know if YouTube fixes this, but my energy bars disappear on this player. That is strange. Like, my gauge is really damaged and all, but... It doesn't show. It's not even there, so... I can't... Oh, there. Good. Mm. 
Maybe it was the recorder I used. I'm being antsy and picky. Ugh. This is annoying. I don't know who the boss was here. Or wait, 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 I do know. He- oh no. What's his name? Rangda Bangda. I think that's his name. He shows up in X5 in that regard. This boss returns in my hand X5, if I remember. Well, I think he's a little more annoying in that one. Ah! At least he's more forgiving in the PSP remake. I don't remember what the weakness was for this thing. Okay... Um, I don't remember. All I know is you're supposed to destroy his eyes and the nose thing. Now I do know with the nose thing in the middle, if you destroy that first while the walls are enclosed, I heard it'll glitch and then you can't escape until you like destroy the eyes or something like that. The thing is, I... In one of my early runs, I destroyed the nose first before destroying the left eye. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it right here. Nope, I don't. I must be finishing it last. Like I normally do. Yep, I was right. And then this thing goes berserk. And then I finish it off with one more cannon blast. Die. And if you guys can't see that, I just landed on spikes. Yes, those are spikes. If I'm not mistaken, they're supposed to be instant kill. And that's the end of Rangda Banga. Rangda Banga. Okay. Fun fact about the passwords. Uh, if you go to mmhp.net, there's a generator if you guys want to try using passwords and see different results. They actually work. You just gotta hit generator. They actually do work and it'll work. Uh, armadillo. Take this! Oh. Take that. Uh oh. Okay, I must have cut out to recharge my HP quickly, and then I did a Hadouken. Oh, my HP, see? Yeah, my HP is a little... Uh, okay, you guys on YouTube can't see it, but on my playback video player, it's not doing that. Like, I can... T yeah, there, there's... What the heck is going on? There's a black bar right there coming down. It's like, eh. Don't Hadouken this guy. I don't think I can Hadoken this guy. I can only boomerang cut him. Unless you can get him to run around on the ground a bit, like in the remake, you cannot Hadoken this one. The original programming for Stink Chameleon. Uh, yeah. There we go. The original programming was him to stay in the air. Mm, but in the remake, he comes on the ground sometimes and can attack you by doing a tackle and then a tongue lash. Ugh. Now the music is the same, it's just the stage looks different. I like to do Spark Angel's voice from the remake. Time to get started! In the remake on the PSP, you can just like once he breaks free, you can hit him, you can freeze him, and then freeze him constantly. You can do that. Oh. Okay. Cut. I must have cut right about here. And then probably he. Yeah, there it goes. It recharged. But my feet out. Uh. Going on, my feedback player is not showing it. 
Hmm, I wonder if it's about the compression when I was adding this up on the compression. When I was, like, getting this... <sighs> Probably the compression of my recorder was acting bad. Sorry about that. But at this point, I replayed the game one too many times needed. And I said, forget it. Oh, I hate these fish. Mm. But there were. A, this was an homage to, like, the original Mega Man. In the remake, they spread them out in like two a stage, and then like three per stage before the Sigma Four stage. Oh, dash! Ah! 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 He does take away HP like that. It's like a draining ability, like a vampire. I hate him for this. Oh, that's not good. Hit him. Ah. One more hit. One more hit. Ah. Oh. And the last part should be Flame Mammoth. Yeah, it's a, like a... Uh, okay, don't do that. Actually, yeah, there's no need to get it unless you use Boomerang Cutter. Let me see if I can do that. Ah! Right there. Ah! Stupid head thing is in my way. Oh, good! You can't... Okay, no. I don't know a correct method to get that thing at top. Yeah, see, it's Flame Mammoth. <coughs> Storm Tornado's his weakness. Because I don't think you can Hadouken on the track. doing that. Oh yeah, if you use Boomerang Cutter, you can take his trunk off. His true weakness, however, is Storm Tornado. Actually, I noticed this. Without his trunk, he's just locked right there for some reason. Oh, he broke the lock. He looks like a giant bat without wings. Or without his trunk. I don't know what he is without his trunk. He looks ugly. And now we reach the final boss. D-Rex Tank. I think that's what it's called. <coughs> In the remake in its credits, it calls it D-Rex Tank. I don't remember the weakness for this thing. I think it was rolling shield. Oh crap. Fire. Oh, uh, watch out for that attack. You should dash or climb up. Oh crap. Ah! Haha! I have you now. Stop following. Okay, there we go. Oh, that is annoying. Ah! Whoa, what the heck? It's either the rolling shield or the homing torpedo, I don't remember. <coughs> Do I die here? I hope not. Ah! 
Yeah, when it's charging that sh stupid thing, it like blocks it. Oh, this is bad. Actually, I don't grind anymore after this, because the final boss is actually easy. And yes, you have been defeated! How does failure taste like Sigma? Oh, tastes like motor oil. See you in the next part!